hello guys welcome to another video in the previous video we talked about how to set up a uh, laravel praise uh, though we have uh, GH stream as well for the authentication and other api related works but that is a bit more advanced and praise is a bit uh, basic type of and in this video as i told you in the previous video we'll talk about the migration but before going to the migration topic we need to know about the uh, somehow about the command line of uh, uh, laravel uh, laravel has a very uh, huge and a great uh, tool which is its command line artisan's command line interface and we can do many things with this one uh, what commands do we have or not you can uh, just go through the documentation and read about it and it is having a huge details so you have all the options here i'm going through documentation uh, along with this tutorial series so that you can understand and learn how to use the documentation as well uh, you have a general command here uh, coming to the terminal and before we just use the command uh, php artisan serve this is the very uh, first command to to run the server the laravel server and after that we uh, we use the command php artisan migrate which means to uh, migrate the schemas from our database folder to real mysql databases and we have other commands as well as well what are they we can just say php artisan list to list the uh, commands that we have in our very much organized you can see all the commands we have here for we have the db in help inspire list migrate and for the authentication we have all killer research for the breeze we have uh, for db and as well as we have a bundle of make commands which will help us make the controllers components and other command uh, artisan command and which will help us like uh, create models middlewares migrations which we will use in this video and the uh, other commands are available here so uh, let's uh, now start with the uh, what is actually migration consider migration is a raw database you have designed the database you have the physical uh, design of your database and you only need to implement it with the um, to the mysql or SQL server or any other laravel is quite good in working with the mysql each our table should have a migration uh, based on the uh, rules of laravel each of our uh, table that we have designed in our database uh, should have a migration file and while creating this schema uh, we have to consider the types of columns the types of data that we enter inside and the key constraints like the foreign key primary key and the relationships with the other tables so we have two steps uh, for creating a table uh, via laravel the first one is to create its migration the second one is to migrate the table from laravel to the dbms so uh, let's we have an artisan command as i said the migration we can create uh, the migration file or you can create it by your uh, by yourself but it is better to create with this command if you want to create it by yourself you can just come to migration structure section and copy this structure and paste it in a new file in your migration folder but that will be uh, a bit uh, mess uh, so you can just run this command to create a migration for example in our system we want to create a table to store posts so what will be the migration file like this uh, php artisan make migration and the migration name let's say create posts table or simply create post table post table and enter this will create the migration file for you which will be inside the database folder and in the migration and when you come to it you will have the file here 
your migration file is ready with two uh, methods in the functions in it the first one is the up when you migrate the up will be called and when you refresh or when you drop the down method will be will reverse the migration so what is inside the up and inside the down the down will uh, will reverse whatever it is in the up so in a function we can uh, define the schema of our table let's say we have a post and according to our database which we have designed previously let's say imagine that we have designed a database and we have a post table inside that so according to the requirements of our database we need to put the schema here uh, let's say we have we must have id for each our post and a timestamp uh, timestamps like created it and updated it and other than these two whatever we have considered inside our database we have to put this and let's say we need the title for our post we need the content of our post these things like so uh, coming again to the uh, documentation we have tens of uh, column types here so you can understand that let's say uh, consider this one we have a schema here uh, table name uh, as you can see name is of a string type and email is also of a string type and timestamp is default and the same way you have uh, uh, many tens of types of mm, columns here considering the post that we have created post uh, table uh, we need the text or we need a string for our title and we need long text for our content and we need the foreign uid uh, for the user id and uh, whether which user have uh, has uh, posted this one so we can use uh, uh, these three to uh, turn our schema into a table let's say table a string and here you will give the column name let's say the column name is post title or it is uh, post table then only title is also okay then the second one will be table because the content of a post may be may vary uh, to up to a thousand words or longer than that so we can say a uh, long text and that will be like content and the other thing is the uh, uh, foreign key of the user table uh, to say that which user created this one this post we can use this okay here you go the foreign UI method creates a UUID equivalent column and that is what we needed so I'll just grab it from here and paste it here. that's it we are ready we have other methods that will for example if we need any if we need any column if any column if any column is nullable we can just mention it that it is nullable that is one of more benefits and now it is time to uh, take this table to our dbms so that will be and uh, just uh, i'm opening the command line and it is possible with the command php artisan migrate when we uh, run this command the this schema will be uploaded or will be created in our dbms let's say new laravel and here we go. the posts you can see that here we have the id title content user id created and updated the id is primary key and auto increment so this was the basics of uh, migration in laravel and in the next video we will learn how to customize our dashboard thank you